the red color book that I talked about last time is here, as you can see. I should say here again to tell you something about anatomy, how to read and uh, study the anatomy, although the book is very thick enough already to give you a lot of headache, but you don't have to worry about it. There are very few uh, things that you have to memorize completely and understand so that you can write your examination. You have, there are very few important questions that you should know. Uh, similarly, such as well, this topic that I'm holding right now, that is the facial arteries. Uh, it is also one of the most important questions that usually comes in the... Hatta chalo, ya video banane chalte Today, let's talk something about anatomy. How anatomy is read. The, ba the most basic thing that you have to know how to read is the anatomy book. The red color book that I talked about last time is here, as you can see. First and foremost thing that you have to uh, know is how to read and to understand this book, you have to know what it, it talks about, basically. So first, start with the introduction. The basic thing that you have to have the knowledge about is the introduction that it talks about. Read the introduction uh, properly so that uh, you won't get confused with the words such as posterior, anterior, later when you read the topics in the books, uh, in the coming chapters. As a BDS student, head and neck is a part that is very important for you. You can't skip it, nor you can give your examinations without it. Uh, Osteology is also something that you have to uh, read, but it is mostly important for the practicals, not for uh, your examination point of view, because questions comes from osteology, but mostly in the practicals. You are asked to buy the questions importantly for that. Uh, specifically, if you take mandible, it's the foremost and most important thing for the uh, first year BDS. Uh, head and neck has a lot of triangles to read about. Not the mathematics triangle at all here. You're talking about human body has a lot of triangles, whether it's anterior triangles, posterior triangles. Similarly, if I, if you ask me how I read anatomy and how I passed my examination, is it's a little bit, you have to make notes of your own. That is the basic thing that you have to do. Read the book, first try to understand what it's talking about, and then after that, try making notes of your own. That is a process how you should make those notes. Such as if a topic is asked, uh, suppose if you're asked about posterior triangle of the neck, you have to write the introduction, some part of the introduction first. It's me. So it's the same way it's given in your uh, BD Choresia book also. You try reading the book that is given by your college specifically instead of looking for here and there and other informations. If you're not able to understand the book completely, read the introduction as I told first. So there are a lot of uh, new terms that you learn that to, you have to know to read and understand this book. After that, if you are not able to do any of these things, try, try to look up videos in YouTube. You get some that are very of very good quality. You're able to understand what it's talking about. After that, you can again go back to your book and read it thoroughly. You'll understand it completely. After writing the introduction, there are, uh, suppose, if I give you an example of the posterior triangle, you have to write about the boundaries after that. Boundaries, you have anterior boundaries, posterior boundaries, apex, base, and floor. For this, you have specific, uh, take a paragraph in your uh, book. You have to memorize it, whatever. Do what may come, you have to memorize it. But to memorize that, there is one simple trick that I'll give you. That is, first draw the diagram. After you draw the diagram, try labeling the diagrams properly and while labeling the diagrams, label it in one direction. Like if you're doing it in an anti-clockwise, do it in an anti-clockwise. If you're labeling it clockwise, label it clockwise so that your brain remembers that uh, you're doing a labeling and remembers the sequence of the labeling of the diagrams. After that, you can easily write what is anterior part because you have read the introduction of the book. You can uh, um, write the anterior part of the uh, boundary, the posterior part. Similarly, you can easily understand the direction of the diagram that you drew and write the uh, direction completely. So that, that will finish your boundaries. After that, you have to even write the roof. Roof will also have the same condition. 
after you draw the diagrams, you'll understand properly that uh, you'll understand the angles and orientation of the diagram. Basically, that will lead into completing all your boundaries. Then you have to write the content, content and divisions of the posterior triangles. That will be also become very easier when you label the diagrams properly and remember the labelings of the diagram. Instead of memorizing the whole theory, memorize the diagram properly. That is what I'll tell you. Well, that's the only thing that saved me from anatomy. So that will save you and save up a lot of your time once. After writing that, you have even, uh, suppose if you're given some other uh, questions, such as it's not a triangle to write about, but you have to write about whether uh, arteries, veins, then those things you have to write for them courses of it, like from where it starts and from till where it ends. So for that, you have to remember all the organs that it passes through. So after after writing the introduction, you can even again start with the courses for that and then write about all the structure it passes. That is basically and try writing a clinical at the end of each question, if you can. That will give you much better score. So, uh, if I talk about that, one more trick that I'd like to give you. To memorize things properly, you can try making mnemonics. And when writing the answers, try uh, use is to save up time. You won't have time in the examination hall to write up the whole theory and with colorful pens that you're talking about. You won't have so much of time. So use try using two color pens, a black and a blue pen. Uh, write the headings with the black pen and then with the blue pen, write all, all the other theory, write it in points. And uh, if you're talking about, suppose that is a very important question in our in, in, what curriculum and examinations of anatomy you can talk about is muscles of mastication. That for all the muscles that you're writing about in the examinations, you have to write inversion and origin of the muscle. That also requires a lot of um, nugging up. For that you can uh, do is uh, Picture the image of food, the muscles present in our body and then try to remember the origin and insertion for that. Uh, try making mnemonics if you have to remember a flow chart. You can take the first letter of each uh, line and make some funny mnemonics that you like, whatever you prefer and uh, memorize that so that in the examinations when you uh, remember that you can remember the first word and after you remember the first word it is very easy to remember the rest of the part. Uh, similarly, uh, if you have to uh, use the highlighters, that is the basic thing that I'm saying. Take two highlighters, one for the headings and the other for the um, key points in your whole uh, pointed uh, uh, paragraphs that you wrote. That will highlight the words that you want the uh, what, examiners to see. So that uh, the examiners don't have to read through all your paragraphs and see that search for the key points. If you highlighted yourself, they won't uh, just try reading the whole thing and then if they think that that's nothing important in it and instead of crossing it over, they'll see the highlighted points and give you marks on that, on basis of that. So, use a little bit of your brain and uh, try to use such kind of color highlighters that will give a good representation for your answer sheet and when uh, help the examiner to Check your paper easily. This for an admin book that is the embryology. Embryology part is the most uh, mostly talks about the intrauterine life of, of all the of a child and all those uh, sequence of life that happens with the newborn babies. All those embryology part is something that you have to mug up. There are specifically tables given in your, in your books. That is the British or a book. You can memorize with those tables. Don't add any additional information to it. Just write as it is, if you're asked about it. And uh, those tables are very important for Viva point of view. So, such as phalanger arches, all those questions are important. Specifically, it's answer Viva. Uh, that is all I would like to t tell you about the uh, human anatomy book. Thanks. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you loved the content that I talked about right now. Uh, hope you... Have a good, um, you don't have a scary view of uh, anatomy in your mind. Uh, hope you like it. Hope you study it properly and score a very high score in your examinations. Uh, please like, comment and subscribe. Thank you. <laughs>